All right, today we've got the cold weather MRE from foreignmre.com. I've got the beef stroganoff. Uh, Jimbo here has the uh, turkey tetrazzini. Today we ditched the FRH once again, and we've got mess tins. Let's go. What you got? Turkey tetrazzini. So I've got the beef stroganoff. This today is all about first. So this it is. is First military MRE and our first cold weather. I've never had one of these. Now I'm kind of, I'm kind of not sure because these these are much lighter. Mine came in just under a pound. Mine was just over a pound. Just over a pound. So these feel lighter, and they feel less fuller. Yours sounds shakier. If that's a thing. Shakier, so but it's it just, it, I don't know. I don't know. I got a little. Can you hear that? Uh, okay. So and it's sealable. You know what? We got a gig on one of our uh, videos for not having a knife. Yeah. But. So, I, and I replied to that. <laughs> so you should never, it is it is a very dangerous game to play to. But I would never leave my house without my knife. Right. It's always on me. But what we have I got my under knife today. cover of concealment, it is a dangerous game yes, to guess what Which that you is. might notice underneath the belt might hurt you. Yeah. Can you get it? Uh, it's, no. it's pick on Dougie day, by the way, because why? Dougie tries to quit dipping again. Wow, <laughs> For like Dougie's got a patch time. on. Yeah, I'm surprised I have 15 patches on. But it's gonna uh, be pick on Dougie day because he's a little he's a little pokey because he doesn't have a dip. Yeah, it's so hard. Uh, so this is all about. Oh man, I can't even remember. Give me that knife, by the way. I can't even Where's remember. Where's your knife? Yeah. Look, I actually, it's actually Look, in the truck. It says peelable seal, dude. Yeah, they lied. But anyways, this is all about, somebody commented the other day uh, and said that they had quit dipping and they had implored me to do the same. So look at me. Glad I don't live with them. Yeah. Uh, also today, you've seen it in the uh, teaser leading up. Yeah. We have these, uh, Really cool aluminum mess tins. Oh, oh god. <laughs> oh, did it. So that's my kryptonite. These are cool. So I want to try something different. We want to dish the FRH bag again. Not like using the uh, the pot we did last time, but try a container out. Because it makes it kind of like a little oven. And it's cool. You can actually take it with you when you it's light, very light. It's stamped aluminum. From Sweden. Or, from Sweden. Um, we got these on like, Amazon for like what, twelve bucks? Yeah, like twelve bucks. Yeah, we'll put them in the we'll put them in the in the links, yeah. links in the comment center. But you could actually take the stuff in there, and it's a nice little. I mean, you can close it up. Yeah. But then take it all out, use it as your little oven, if you wanted to. Now I would clean it because we already did a test run, and uh, it got kind of dirty in the bottom of it. Ooh. So you clean it out before you put your food in there if you wanted to. Uh, but that's an option. And actually, then you can actually put stuff back in there. Close it back up, take it away, take it with you. You know what, homie? So, we are not going to be able to use that today. Unless we get into the wrap box. Oh, because these don't heat up, do they? They do not. You have to they're, use hot water. They're cold, huh? You have to use hot water for these. So, add six ounces hot water, three quarters canteen cup to pouch. Stir, wait 10 minutes. Hot water may be added in stages to keep food hot. So, uh... This is freeze dried food. There's no FRH. Yeah. So, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to get our handy dandy shelf. Check it out. Cool, huh? We're going to have to bring this dude out, which we also got off Amazon. It's like under 12 bucks. Uh, it's 13, somewhere there. Yeah, which is funny, I didn't know that because I've never had a cold weather MRE. I've never either. Like, never, ever, ever have That's I That's going to be some comments. Somebody's going to get on to us. Type 2 vanilla dairy shake. Yeah, sorry, sorry. All right, so we found out in previous videos it takes about three minutes to boil water. So what we're going to do is start going through some other stuff and then actually, you know what? You go, go and heat yours start heating the water yeah. up and I'm going to go through mine real quick. So here is... You got the water over there. I didn't get any water today. Here there. is... The freeze dried turkey tetrazzini. It's in. It looks. It feels like like a box of macaroni. Weird. Okay, that first strike. Chocolate flavor bar. Demo. Crackers. Crackers. Always crackers. 
Um, tropical punch beverage powder. I'm bound to mess this up. And then, wait, there was two. <gasps> Mocha cappuccino instant powder. I am happy. I've got vanilla dairy shake powder. Oh, I've been wanting. Oh. Ooh, my favorite. <laughs> Great flavored beverage powder. I can dig it. I got a peanut butter dessert bar and a fig bar. Well, how did Jake Newton? How did you get it? I got a first strike bar. These are totally, totally different. Yeah, so mine's a peanut butter dessert bar. That's cool. And the fig I Newton. I didn't uh, get a cracker and pit. I love fig bars. Mm. Just, just saying. I'm on. What? Sugar. Um, oh, actually, look at that. Oh, hey. It really is a fig Newton. Like, by God, branded everything. Hmm. Napkins, matches. With no high fructose corn syrup. Yes. Matches, matches. Mm. Moist toilet. I got hot sauce. Why would you need hot sauce? Because you don't put hot sauce in turkey tetrazzini or beef stroganoff. Uh, I will. Gross. Mm. And what did I get? Oh, coffee creamer. Coffee creamer. Uh, coffee. And some mm -hmm. gum. Is this the cinnamon flavor because it's in a red package? Only one way to find out. It is. I sent mine. Mm. Cool. Look just, at that. I was to steal it. I love big bars. Eat it. Eat it. Oh, yeah. Is it? Oh, uh, yep. Three minutes, homie. Patience. Now I've got water for you, too. Well, I need to. So. Mocha cappuccino. I'm really interested in that. Yeah, we're out of water, huh? You used all of it? Yeah. Don't give me some more water. We do, don't we? We have uh, ran into quite the conundrum. All right. We pull, wait, we planned this poorly. You talk to the people. I'll Are go you going to sneak out? Well, so why is he going to get water? Mocha cappuccino instant powder. And I wonder what happens. Man, I've been wanting to try this. The vanilla dairy shake flavor. Never had that, but I guess he's gonna get a try instead. Natural and artificial flavor, blah, blah, blah. That's gonna be pretty cool. But I'm really interested in mocha cappuccino instant powder. And then beverage tropical punch. So there's two drinks. It's kind of weird to get, okay, I see. I see there you get, you're getting an actual drink and then getting some kind of coffee-ish or dessert type. Maybe it makes you happy. Makes me happy. And I'm surprised at the first strike bar. Chocolate flavor. I don't think we had chocolate flavor. We had the the cranberry raisin. There's another one. Don't know. A gum. A gum though. He's taking a long time. Folks, he's angry today because no no dip. And he just dipped last night. Not like he hasn't had one in like 24 hours. He has an issue. I think he has like 15 patches on. I think he tried to chew one. He told Trey it didn't taste good. What does that mean, Trey? It means he uh, tried to chew it. He's tried it. If he didn't try it today, he's tried it before. He's, uh, he's a special one. Through the miracle of <laughs> editing, I am back with water. Uh, that is the benefit of doing these at home and not uh, being out in the field. Yeah, last done. time I did this, I really messed it up. All I got stuff everywhere. I'm really kind of leery. How much water? Uh, how much water is this? I don't know. I'm just going to put it in there and try it. I really didn't measure that. So I'm not a measuring guy. I'm a syndic guy. I'm sure. And I also remember I didn't get... All of it out of the bottom either. That's why I made the coffees. Not bad though. Not bad, not bad. I love this purple drink. Look at that big old glob. Somebody told us how we did this wrong the last time and somebody's always telling us how we did it wrong. Yeah, we do everything wrong. We do it our way. Trust me, 
My wife tells me every single day, at least a hundred times, how I'm doing things wrong. She's gonna watch this, you know. Yeah. I'm used to it. She's You're gonna not watch gonna this. get to me. She's gonna watch this. Look at that. I like that. Come on. That is good stuff. I can dig it. Mm -hmm. I like that. Purple drink. All Purple. right. I'm doing red, my red vanilla drink. dairy shake powder mm -hmm. now. But that's got to be in hot water, though. That's what you're doing. Oh, wait. No, no, no. So, no hot water for this. It's just eating yours. Consume Dude. promptly. Huh? That's what it says. It says consume promptly. I wonder why. That almost tempts me to... Uh, do my own experiment and uh, see what happens if you drink it after two hours of it sitting. Oh, I see what you're saying. Oh, well, that's interesting. <laughs> Look at his. <laughs> so, uh, I found myself in quite the precarious spot here. Quite the quandary. Quandary. See? Look at that. That's a high five. You're what? using big words now, too. Oh, my. Okay, I fell for that one. One of these days, we're going to... Oh. <laughs> well. That looks... Something looks wrong there. Something looks way wrong. <laughs> <laughs> my See, look at my side. My side is prepared. My side... My side's better. Look, I'm trying to better myself by not dipping anymore. My brain is not working. <laughs> after He's so a, messed up. Dude, I'm telling you. He's so messed so up. So I've been dipping for like, I don't know, 18, 20 years, something like that, uh, since I was way too young to actually be doing it. But Ooh. since then, it's been like two cans a day, like full send. That's not vodka, by the way. Mm. Oh. That is so good. What that is, is so good. What is it? I don't remember the name of it. Mocha Cappuccino. Mm. Mine tastes like a milkshake. Watered down milkshake. Uh, protein shake. Like after workout, it's exactly what it tastes like. It's a I'm vanilla waiting, protein I'm shake. waiting though. I don't hear it. I don't hear it. You know what I don't hear? Mm. It didn't bring all the boys to the yard. <laughs> you, sir, <laughs> are... So look, 12 grams of protein. Maybe Ooh, this is that's, like a protein that's shake. That's good. Look at that. It's horrible. I want the other side. Your non-dipping side. How is that good? How that's good. That's good dude. Oh. Ugh, no, I do not like that. Not in a box with a fox. I just no. added your shake to my mocha cappuccino. Ugh. This is gonna be absolutely unreal. Oh. What do you think? I'm so happy. Let's try it. Get it. That's Get it good here. stuff. Not as strong. In I'm the sure. times of Corona, like maybe we shouldn't be uh, mm. doing all, Man. all sharing stuff. But dude, you know our job. I uh, what? We're. I don't. So right now I'm off for what a month, something like that. Somebody's uh, taking a vacation for like a month long. Yeah, FMLA man, it's my rights. Yeah, uh, I keep getting running all the uh, sick people and wrecks and. Yeah, and me, I'm just. At home, living that's, it up, that's loving good. life. What do you think about the mixed? Yeah, it's it's a little bit weaker, but still good. So that the coffee sucked, and the uh, milkshake was kind of like a no, no. A the coffee's shake. good. The coffee's good. The milkshake's pretty good. It could be better, but the coffee was good. That is better than the sum of its parts. Why do I or have crackers? That There's right nothing thing? to put on it. I, I guess it's for the turkey tips. Are we ready yet? Uh, oh, yeah, 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 we are. Crackers. Crackers are always... Did you get crackers? No. But you got the spread. No. no, you didn't. You just got a peanut butter bar. So I guess the cracker can be for inside. Like... How the hell do you open them? Mm. There's a little tear. Is there a tear? Yeah. Where? Where's the tear? Right there. You didn't the tear right. is right there. Uh, where's the tear? Uh, it's right there. I'm a poet and didn't even know it. Well, how do you do this? Uh, I, I think you just do one of these numbers right here. 
That didn't even work. <laughs> nope. That, that didn't work right. So I did, I did not bring a knife today. <laughs> I brought a gun, but no knife. <laughs> uh, let's see that. Man, this is... It's a Kershaw. It's, it's a, a fancy knife. It's a very flamboyant knife. It's a, it's a very fancy knife. I actually ordered me another Kershaw. You're safe. Hey, speaking of, you like my new hat? I do. I never liked these kind of hats before, but I went uh, charter boat fishing. Yeah. And lots of lots of trout. But the dude gave us free hats. Steely, steely, steel, steel salty. salty charters. Amazing. Where but are they at? What? Uh, Kima. 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 Kima outside of Houston. So pretty cool. You got to check us out. Uh, bay fishing. Caught a lot of trout. Man, uh, I want to do that. Anyway, but cool hat. I've never liked trucker hat. Is this, is this a trucker hat? No. Oh, okay. That makes That's just better. a regular hat. Dude, I like it. Much better than my other hats. It's a trucker hat. It's a trucker hat? Really? The cameraman says it's a trucker hat. I think it's a regular hat. I don't know. Uh, looks like a Richardson. Okay. Anyways. I, I, tell us in the comments. You're going to burn yourself. So I see that how and you're going to burn. Oh, wait. You got the whole thing open. This seems like six ounces. I don't know what kind of Charlie Fox truck you're operating <laughs> over here. Uh, you're gonna burn me out of the mouth. So I put my tongue out like this. This is a technical move. You kind of want to watch what you're doing? Nah. All right. So I don't think you put enough, did you? I think so. So something's beeping. Something's beeping. Is there a bomb in the building? <laughs> Anyways, uh, so these are made by Mountain House, which Mountain oh, House. Oh, really? Yeah, look That's at that. A, it's right there. They sell them at Academy, Cabela's. Dick's. Your, uh, <laughs> your favorite store, yeah? Anyways. Uh, no return policy. <laughs> Dude, I, need more, I think I need more water. So this, that comment should be edited out. <laughs> uh, but since I do the editing, it's probably not going to be. It's probably going to make water. it in there. I need some more water, I think. Just give it a close. I'm stirring. Is that, that's not how it works. Uh, that's how it's going to work. I don't know. I mean, I've never done this before, obviously. So I know we're going to get roasted in the comments. But Who okay. cares? I get roasted at home on the rig. Love you, Laura. <laughs> He's now dogged you twice, Laura. No, it's, I'm twice. not dogging. I'm telling the truth of oh, my experience. Oh, no. Back, hard pass. Don't say I'm telling the truth because now she's going, oh, you could have said I was playing, I was lying, or anything. Oh, no. I screw things up, like, regularly. All right. And regularly, she calls me out on them. I don't know if this got enough water in it. My son calls me out on them. Ugh. That's disgusting. Ten minutes, homie. Ten minutes. Oh, really? Yeah. Read the instructions. I need a little bit more. Come on. Give me some. <laughs> you got any more of that water? <laughs> <laughs> what is beeping? Oh, this is gimbal. Mm -hmm. Oh. Wait. Right. Got that. Go. Our camera equipment is uh, having technical difficulties. All right, while we're waiting on that. It takes 10 minutes, actually? How am I the one that read the instructions? I can't see it. The lettering's too small. Don't, da, da, da. Because you're old. So yesterday was Jim's 97th birthday. <laughs> I get good parking. Yeah. I got to check him out of the nursing home extra long today. Yay! Okay. I'm eating this peanut butter bar, which, ugh. Ugh. Why? Why, why are you, you haven't even tried it, Ugh. dude. Like a kid. Go, look at it. Don't knock it till you try it. It is chalky. It is. Ugh. You... Don't knock it till you try it. Wait, I have had this before. I'm sure. Yeah, I did have this before. And I said it's like a candy from whenever I was a kid. I can't remember what it was. Mm. What are you talking about? I know what it is, but I know what you're talking about. Like a Charleston chew? No, because that was like chewy. This is not chewy. This is not bad, but it is not good. And it's way different. I just had a little bit of chocolate. You got your chocolate in my peanut butter. Yeah, mm. cracker. 
There's nothing to put on it though. Oh, and you're, and you're stroganoff. Mm, okay. You want to try? I do. Have you tried the chocolate one? It's chocolate. Mm. I love these. These are these really any good for you? Mm. First strike bars. I don't know, but you can mold it into cool things. You can do art projects with them, apparently. That's fun. He doesn't care. Hey, whatever. <laughs> Ahoy, maybe. <laughs> no, but this is okay. I don't know. I don't even know say it. Oh look, a choco taco. No, there's a copyright strike right there. Ah. I already mentioned a whole bunch of other things. That's good. Really good. Oh, it's all right. Hmm. A little bit with a mocha. Mm. With a chocolate bar? Yeah. So I'm digging that. I'm not. I don't know what's wrong with this dude. You are no refineries. <laughs> I don't your... make gasoline. <laughs> <laughs> you have all the big words and nothing to back it up. But you have nothing to back up the no big words that you but have. But I don't put up big words. See? <laughs> I think he means coot. No. That's today's word of the day. Coot. What I do not have. Uh, class. Or a dip. dip. Oh, man, why do you gotta remind me of that? You were evil. Mm. I felt like I was doing great. Alright. Mm. Alright, it's been a number of minutes. Send it. You going? I'll put it out. Ugh. No way. Yeah. Mine is a. Oh, yours looks awesome. Blocko Stroganoff. Mm-hmm. All right. You got so a bunch initial, of noodles. You got, I mean, dude, that looks good. That's a pretty uh, decent amount. Yes, it, uh, it's a lot of food. Has filled up my uh, cafeteria tray quite nicely. So, oh, I see the. I got the rice. Mm. I've got the broccoli. Got the turkey. It looks good, dude. I do not see any vegetables, which I appreciate. I do not like vegetables. Uh, I do not. But so I have meat. Uh, very small noodles. You know, you didn't need to use as much water in yours. You know why? Because you're filling it full of tears. Cry, baby. You mm. can even try it, dude. That's good. That's good. Yeah. Try this before I make it gooder. Gooder. Dougie's word of the day. Gooder. Yeah. <laughs> this does look pretty good, man. I need some seasoning, though. It needs to be doctored up. Mm-hmm. I hope that's not like Tabasco sauce or nothing else. Oh, it is. No. No, it is. Really? Yeah. That's bad. Aged cayenne, red peppers, distilled vinegar, salt, and garlic. Mm. Try it on a cracker. Mm. A, a, a dab, Boop. please. Dab will do you. Oh, it is Tabasco sauce. That's so gross. Yeah. <sighs> I can't stand that smell. Oh, God, it's a bye. Good. Oh, God. Good. That's what you deserve. Karma called. Man down. Oh, man down. Do we have workman's comp? <laughs> no. No. Oh. You gotta go to work first. That, this is mm. work. Dealing with you is work. I'm like cracker. Let me tell you. The cracker. Good. I need. Oh, so this. Did you get any salt and pepper? I don't know. I haven't even opened up that accessory pack. I need some pepper. Uh, you can go to the rat box. Are you gonna check yours first? I bet you didn't get it. It's probably the same pack I got. We're gonna sugar. Yeah. There's no pepper. Toilet paper. Can you hand me the rat box? I can. Where's the rat box? Oh, behind you. Oh, it's not. Rat box! Bum ba da bum! The rat box. I'm right there on top. Mm. That's what I'm doing right. 
Dude, try it. It does not taste anything like it. It's. Oh. I'm telling the, you. You put the hot sauce on there. Yeah. Right? It made it taste amazing. It brought out a depth of flavor that is just unparalleled in the MRE world. That's so nasty. It is so good. This not is amazing, the, folks. <laughs> not the stroganoff, the hot sauce. Mm. It's just so nasty. Amazing. Don't listen to this goon. Oh, ugh. I almost had a big old bite of hot sauce. That was so nasty. Mm. All right, I don't think it needs any salt, but pepper. A little bit of. Can you imagine pepper? gun dog in that? Well, this wouldn't be much though. I mean, because there's not much to put in it. Yeah. No, I'm just talking about from the looks of that. Yeah, I can eat all this because this is not bad at all. It's really, really good. Ugh, it looks horrible. Mm. You didn't even try it, dude. Mm. You gotta try it. Mm -mm. It's a law. It's a law. Apparently, in our recess since last week, the gym has enacted legislature. Is that the right? No, get a bite. No, get a bite. That, Come that's on. That's a bite. Get a bite. Every day. You know what? I can't talk to you like this. I can't. Are you gonna? I can't talk to you when you're like this. You can't work under these conditions. That's disgusting. No, it's so good. It's it looks actually, like what you may find in a diaper. That's wrong. Doesn't taste bad. Exactly. You know what would make it taste worse? Your nasty. I almost said the bad word. <laughs> <laughs> Your nasty hot sauce. Oh. Mm. He almost said. Cracker. Mm. This right. is good. I like every every morsel of this. Mm -hmm. I had the turkey tetrazzini. And uh, I had the beef stroganoff. Mine was good. I really like it. I mean, his is okay till he screwed it up with a hot sauce. Mine was better. Uh, Jim, uh, mm. I ask that we all pray for him because he knows not what he does. Why? Uh, because this is good. This is good food. That was a it's good horrible to you ruin drink. It with the hot sauce. And the uh, and so the uh, the mocha cappuccino mm. was excellent. Really, really good. Mm. And my fruit punch was excellent. I mean, these mm. taste good. These are yeah. My grape drink was grape uh, drink was good. So. You may hear in the background, again, this is being filmed in front of a live studio audience. Uh, that was our laugh track. Uh, we're not good enough or funny enough that in the rest of the video, anybody felt like laughing. Uh, but it is what it is. So, crackers, which crackers actually was good, is a good compliment to the. Uh, you didn't get crackers over yours. No, but I got yours. And uh, one thing that I found remarkable about these crackers. They are more cracker-like than previous crackers we've had in MREs. The other one was kind of like Civil War hardtack. Are they the same? And these were more like saltine crackers. These were saltini. Saltini. All right. I like it. And I had a first strike bar. Mm -hmm. That was really good. Chocolate. I had Big Newtons, which you never even ate. No. Save it for later, boo. All right. Uh, I like it. I had cold, my first cold weather. Talk about mouthful. Mm. Don't move about your milkshake. Uh, yeah, it's basically like a protein shake. It's nothing it to write home about. No, it was no. good. And mixed with the mocha cappuccino. A little lumpy. <laughs> <laughs> it's a vanilla protein shake. It's like Muscle Farm. Anyway, I'm excited to get rid of this stuff. We're moving into an experiment. Uh, through the... Uh, miracle of post-production editing. <laughs> <laughs> and we're back. What do we got, Jimbo? The best tins. I want to try something. Okay. Hey, Nate, bye. So these are pretty cool. <sighs> I had to do it. I want to try something. Uh, I've got a nice little temperature checker thingy. 
Uh, Cameraman. Infrared thermometer. <laughs> oh, God. 83 degrees. Where am I pointing? Oh, not the camera. Pointing at your <laughs> <laughs> Your <laughs> Anyway, uh, we're cutting all of that out. So I want to take what you get in the FRH. Uh -huh. The heating element and the salt water. These, now, these are the APAC because these are, these are disposable. And they require salt to... Yeah. And don't eat them. That's for you. Don't dip them. Alright. But what I want to do is I'm gonna see if we can make it explode. So as much as I love that, and as much as I want things to explode, what we're really testing out wow. is what is the best way to do this? Is it enclosed or vented? So in order to vent it, where uh where'd our drill go? It's on the shelf that you can't reach. Ah! tools. So, little. Alright, I could drill holes all day. Uh, 86. <laughs> we forgot our safety vest. Hmm. 87. I'm gonna check your temperature. There's nothing there. I'm gonna give it a good little shake around and a flip over. <laughs> Send it. What we got, what we got? Actually, three times. What do we got? So it's still not over the 89 degrees. But yours is venting. You're still a little bit. Ah! <laughs> it's hotter than 86, folks. Yeah, it's just not not reading very hot. Like I said, 83. It's been aware. It's hot 84. enough that I'm bringing out the gloves. All right, give me a little. Mm, it's so hot, it's shining through the gloves. The heat's coming through the gloves. Hurry up. 80, uh, 90. It is hotter than 90 degrees, I'll tell you that much. Uh, now this is 395. It's not bulging. That's a plus. You know the problem with these though, when they get this hot, you either let it completely cool down, by the time it completely cools down, your food cools down. So unless you have gloves on with you, which kind of kills the purpose, then these kind of suck. Right, but like, if this is cold weather, so if you're doing stuff in cold weather, which is what this MRE was all about, oh. you're gonna have gloves. 129 degrees. There you go, how'd you get that? I may have been doing this wrong. Were you reading in Celsius? No, you it's like you, you mash the trigger and let it go and not hold the trigger down. Ah, so what we got, what we got? Still says 88. 121. So we're like 120, 130. Mine feels hotter. I mean, that's... You could the heat soaking on my gloves in just that little short period. 107. No, oh, what do I got? 110. 90. All right. So I think that uh, the problem is though, I, what, I, what, I, what I was saying though. You want me to open it up for you? Because when you put your food in there, you gotta let the whole thing calm or cool down. No, you're gonna have gloves. But that, that's kind of crappy. You gotta carry gloves to use this. So if it's cold weather, you're gonna have gloves anyways. How are you going to keep your hands warm? But I'm talking about anything besides cold weather. Because I want to try this for anything else besides cold weather as well. Just take gloves. No. Or the camp stove. Yeah, but this is why I want to test this. The test was to see if we can replace the FRH bag with using one of these. But it's so hot to the touch you actually hurt yourself. Unless you're prepared. No, it would work if you had one that had handles on it, so you could easily pull it apart. Yeah, I can't pull that apart at all. That didn't work. Let's try this one. Mm. Mm. 
That's warm. Okay. You know what rhymes with warm? Weak. I don't see you, Mr. Bare Hands, over there doing it. No, so I think that this uh, aluminum yeah. has expanded. Uh, so, the answer is, I don't think these work. Well, if somebody I has a better idea, like what we're doing wrong. I think it would have worked if it was, well, I mean, vented, but cracked open vented. Yeah. But not like this. Yeah. So, tell us what we're doing wrong. Obviously, these are a thing in Sweden. Uh, they're not for cooking in. They're just for... Eating in? Eating in, carrying in. It's just a mess kit. I don't know. Tell us what we're doing wrong. We're doing something wrong. We're screwing something up. No. Uh, put it in the comments. Uh, while you're at it, like and subscribe. Check out our Facebook. We're over 400 subscribers. Oh, yeah, I know. Hopefully. By the live stream next week. Next week, live stream. We're going to unpack all the MREs we've got on hand. And we're going to do some uh, Ranger menu yeah, some recipes. Ranger recipes. Things. Ranger recipes. <laughs> so we're going to do two things next week. We're going to do a live and the PM. So we got to make sure to do a premiere for it this time. That way people are notified of it. Yep. We're going to do a live at night. And we're going to do... We're going to have our regular, regularly scheduled programming. Regular schedule on Thursday. is when we put the next one. And we're going to do the Italian sauces from, from all MREs. But we're going to be bougie. Yes. Totally different. We're going to cook them totally different. This going to be really cool. And that's it. Uh, Jim is known is what they call a glamper. He uh, is trying to blind me right now. But uh, he has a trailer. He likes, he enjoys the air conditioning. Listen, and homie. And all the finer things in I've life. I've done plenty of time camping on the ground. Right. There's nothing wrong with it. Okay, then quick. But break. he's also... Uh, a bit particular with his eating. So, we have decided to change things up in the way that we eat MREs and the way we prepare them. We're trying to be a little bit more bougie and gourmet. Bourgeois, if you will. Alright, I'm Dougie. I'm Jim. See ya. See you later.